Hello, welcome back to Beauty Bee. So today we're going to be doing another following directions video. That is where I follow the manufacturer's suggested uh, look that goes with the product. So in this case, I will be using the e.l.f. monochromatic multi-stick. And I don't have the exact wording in front of me, but on e.l.f.'s website, they describe what you are intended to do with these multi-sticks as use on eye, lip, and cheek for a monochromatic look. Now, um, I don't have high hopes that that will do well on me <laughs> because I have used it on my lips and my cheeks or my cheeks and my eyes before, and I found it to be quite a lot because there is really quite a lot of shimmer in at least in this particular shade and I think in all of them um I mean the shade I have is sparkling rose so fair enough should have seen that one coming but quite a few of the other ones also say sparkling in the name so I don't know if it's only the ones that say sparkling that have shimmer in them, or if that's across the board. If you guys know, I would actually love to hear that. I don't have anywhere where I can swatch by these, and I guess probably no one does anymore. I can't imagine that Ulta is letting you swatch these days. So I don't... I And I would like to get another one of these, because it's really nice, with the exception of how much sparkle is in it. But anyway, off track. What we're going to do is use this on the eyes, the lips, and the cheeks. And then I have also grabbed another several products to add to that look if it turns out to be kind of a lot, which I think it likely will. So I'm going to start by just putting on some eye primer. I have found that at least for me, I absolutely need eye primer with this product. Um, I mean, I have, I think, somewhat oily lids anyway. Shadows do tend to crease on me, but this particular shadow will crease within, like, a minute on me if I do not use eyeshadow primer. Okay. So I'm actually just going to take this on my finger and pat it all over the lid. I've got my mirror under something, so sorry if there's a noise. Boop. I was covering up the noise with a sound effect of my own, and then it turned out that my sound effect was much louder than the actual noise. Excellent. It's actually a very pretty shade for the eye. It's pretty natural looking. I mean, there's pink shimmer there, but I don't know that someone who doesn't think about makeup would necessarily look at that and say, oh yeah, she's wearing eyeshadow. The other eye. Okay, so a pretty easy eye look. I'm just gonna wipe that off on my hand. And I mean, you can see how sheer that is. One of my complaints with this particular product is that I feel that the color fades quite gracefully throughout the course of the day, but the shimmer sticks around. Yeah, that's another reason I'm kind of interested to see a non-shimmery one. I'm just gonna that on my cheeks. Just 
probably a little much, but it's okay. I'm gonna blend in with my finger. I mean, I love that color. I don't necessarily love how much shimmer is in it, though. Also, I'm getting a pretty defined line there, which I do not want. Okay. Calm down, camera. It's all right. Now, lips. I'm going to apply this just straight from the bullet. Okay, so I actually don't hate this as is. Um, on camera, I think it turns, it looks really good. Really natural, easy. I mean, it was pretty low fuss. I think the camera is telling me that I spent about five minutes doing this, though I am being Miss uh, Chatty Cathy today. So I think it would take me, what, like a minute and a half, two, if I was you know, in a rush, which is great. I think this is, looks really nice for a two minute, no brushes look. Uh, in person, I can definitely see a little bit more of a sparkle and I don't know that I would necessarily want to have sparkle on my lips, my eyes, and my cheeks all at the same time, but that's a personal preference thing. I do think that I am going to add a little bit more to this. I've actually pulled quite a bit of extra makeup because I have no self-control, but I think I'm going to stick just to this palette to sort of keep with that rose monochromatic look. And I'm going to blend out the edges of this with this matte. It's a nude pink, though I think it just looks very almost orangey on camera. I'm just going to take that on a fluffy crease brush. and put that in my crease up to tra the transition area. Now I am going to take this pink shade and put it on my outer corner and under the eye probably a little bit as well. For this, I think I'm just going to use a little smudger brush. That's actually more even than I thought. Okay. And I'm going to put it on the outer corner just with my finger. I thought I might have some problem putting eyeshadow over that, but it actually is working pretty well, I think. Okay, 
side even? Yep. Very good. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of white both under the brow bone and in the inner corner. And for that I'm going to go in, actually I think I'm going to take this slightly different white. It's more of a white with a little bit of purple shimmer. Hit pan on this yesterday, which was uh, quite exciting, though um, I can't call it real pan because it had just hard panned so bad that I had to scratch a little bit off the surface to unhard pan it. Uh, so we're going to call that a pan of shame. And the hard pan, um, turned that went all the way to the uh, bottom in some parts, so unfortunate. Uh, definitely need some brows. I feel like the uh, theme of this video is I mess with my hair and then it gets worse. So, uh, gonna have to figure that outside at some point today. Okay. Mascara. And then, I actually don't think I should add any more highlight. But I think I might add just a tad of bit of lip gloss to kind of take down the shimmer on my lips a little bit. Just gonna go in with this pink lip gloss, sort of a nudie pink on me. I'm gonna put just a little bit on. Very good. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And do let me know if there are uh, satin finish or cream finish uh, ones of these little multi sticks. That would be very useful information. Thanks again for watching. I hope you'll like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!